Hello, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. Oh, I could take my hat off. This isn't actually my hat, it's Matt's hat. Matt must hate me. I wear his hat, I wear his socks, I wear his t-shirts. I don't think he hates me, I don't think he minds, but it must be really annoying for him. I'm in the car um, with Amma. We both have our, we got this sweatshirts. We're both wearing sweatshirts. I'm wearing the maroon one and Amma. Hello. Amma's wearing the black one. We always say, whenever we're going to the hospital, well, I always say, I'm always going to wear the we got this. Um, either the t-shirt or the hoodie or the sweatshirt. I love this because it's just, I know I say I wear it for the hospital, but it is really, really cozy. I love it. It's really nice and snug inside. It's really good material. Um, on our way to the hospital now, um, reason why we're going today is because the doctor wants to have a little chit chat. I'm having a blood test today and then a catch up with the doctors. Then I also need to pick up my chemo tablets as well. So you guys know that I'm still having chemo, um, I'm still having that as treatment, but I'm not gonna have it as an IV infusion anymore. It's gonna be in tablet form. So that's good, it's more flexible for me. It just means that I don't need to go to the hospital as much although I do have radiotherapy every single day, but it's okay, it's gonna go very, very quickly. Today is the appointment with the doctors, tomorrow is the first day of radiotherapy, which sounds really crazy to me because I just feel like time is going really, really quickly um, and things are just happening. Doctors here are amazing, they always wanna see me, they always wanna catch up, they always wanna update me, which is amazing, and this is what I want. Um, Amma has her, you guys know, Amma has her little, she had her, like a sample taken underneath her eye. Loads of you were asking me what happened with that. Tomorrow, is it tomorrow? No, yes. Thursday. So in a couple of days, um, Amma will find out what's going on. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're here again. I feel like I haven't been here in a while, but it's only been like four or five days. There's a long line at the front. I think loads of people are going into the hospital. Look at that line, Amma. Yeah. It's Tuesday. It's always busy it's on Tuesday. Yeah, it's always oh. busy on Tuesday. Okay, Amma, bye-bye. Mm. Love, Love you. We got this. <laughs> Mas mask into them. Oh, they'll give me the mask at the front. Oh. They don't want us to bring our own masks. They want us to use their masks. Well, they will ring you anyway. Yeah. So you can always have a bit of an update when yeah. they help you. Yeah, sure. 26 points. Perfect. That's I'm back in the car. I, um... <laughs> I, um... Sorry, <laughs> just a bit over. Um, I have to now wait on the doctor to call me and then I have to come back and get the... If they need to prescribe it and then come back and get the tablets, the chemotherapy tablets. I think we're going to go get a coffee now. Mama, what do you think? Mama, should we go get a coffee? Yeah, you want to decide. I decide. I think we should go get a coffee because there's no point in waiting around. We might as well eat something and then come back. Um, hospital is super busy today, Mama. Uh, busy on another level. Park full, yeah? Well, the doctors didn't Look see me today. Car, car oh my goodness gracious. So busy. <laughs> Um, the car park is packed. Do you know why, Amma? They allow one person in with the patient now. Allowed? No, yeah. That's where they are. Good, good. They're good. allowed one more person. So oh. you can come in, or Matt yeah. can come in. Anyone can come in with me now. Oh, I, I'm allowed one person. Oh, so good. that's really nice. So I'm never going to be on my own. I don't mind, though. I've gotten used to it now. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the doctors didn't speak to me today, but I think, I don't know whether there's delays or. I'm just thinking this is good news because if they wanted to speak to me, they would have like something serious. Like I know I had the bowel scan done, so I think they'll t tell me over the phone. So I just need to keep my phone on me now. We have decided, me and Amma are super, super hungry. Do you guys remember for Amma's birthday, we went to this really nice place called Dalcini. It's in South Wimbledon, near Wimbledon. And they do like lunchtime buffet. And I said to Amma, are you really hungry? And she said, yeah. And I said, should we go there? So we're gonna go and have really nice food. And then we'll come back and come back to the hospital after. Team? Yeah. They review you every week, so we don't make routine so we're the kind of therapy side, so we don't make routine appointments with you during that time. Do you have any other questions at all? No, no. I think you've covered everything. Thank you. Okay, no worries. So I'll come tomorrow, pick up the chemo tablets in the morning, and then is it one in the morning and one in the night? 
So it will be the actual amount of tablet yeah. will be based on your weight. So, okay. Um, and slightly dependent on what size of tablets they have. Okay. There'll probably be a few tablets. Okay. In the morning and a few in the evening, but the dose is the same in the morning and the evening. Okay, brilliant. Thank you so much, Doctor. Okay. Thank Any you. Other questions? No, no, that's everything. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. No worries. Take Thank care. You. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, just spoke to the doctors. So, you know, I had the small bowel check. That's all okay. They said something flagged up in the liver. So they're gonna do a more in-depth liver MRI scan. It's just so many scans, but I'm not worried because I feel like, because I've had a PET scan in January, if there was cancer in the liver, I'm sure it would have been like spotted then, right? So I'm just I'm just thinking they're being really cautious and they're gonna just check the liver just to make sure everything's okay. Um, I'd rather them do that than just leave me and just, you know, I'd rather them be really careful and do all the tests that needs to be done. Not really worried about my liver at all. I'm not worried. <laughs> Amma has quickly just popped into the shops. I'm using my Laniage uh, lip balm. I'm so sleepy. So we went to church, then we went to get some food. I was meant to go pick up my chemo tablets today. But the doctor said, you know what? It's gonna take a little bit of time to get everything signed off. So I'm gonna to go tomorrow morning. So straight before, straight before, before radiotherapy, I'll take the chemo tablets. Um, in regards to my liver, my liver, what is going on? Like, uh, I think I have, I've had time to process what's gone on. And I've talked to Amma as well. Matt's at work, so I haven't updated him yet. I just, um, I just don't get it because obviously they tested. We had a PET scan done in January. Then they wanted to check my bowels, so we did an MRI of the bowels. But when they checked my bowel, <laughs> I keep saying bowel. But when they checked it, they spotted something in the liver. That's what the doctor said. But wouldn't that have been picked up in the PET scan? Can things change? within a month. I personally, I'm not worried. I don't know why I'm not worried. Only because I feel like the PET scan is the most important scan, right? And so if my liver was fine in January, what's gonna change now in a month? Can ca Cancer can't spread that quickly, can it? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'm not gonna worry too much about it just because um, I feel like any news I get now, I just feel blank. I don't know how to react. I, don't, I feel like I just, again, I just have to take every day as it comes at this point because I can't sit here worrying about my liver now, you know? I feel fine, I'm a bit tired, but I feel fine. So I don't really get it, I don't get it. I'm hoping they're just, just double checking everything and everything's absolutely fine. Obviously I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Um, but my liver, my liver, oh, gosh. Poor liver, poor, I just feel sorry for my body just because it's going through so much, so many scans, so much is like, my body's taking on so much. I don't even know if it's good for my body. Like at the end of all this, is my body gonna be okay? Like how much scans can one body take? I don't know. <gasps> you know what? I just have to laugh about it, right? What else can I do at this point? I've told Amma, I just want to zen out tonight and I want to do something special for Matt. Matt said, we were watching like an old episode of Bake Off and Matt goes, Tiffany, I really miss your cake. So I'm going to make him little cupcakes. And so when he comes home from work, I just feel like he'll be happy to have a little cupcake with a, his cup of tea. I think he'll really enjoy that. I might put a little bit of icing on it as well. I'm not the best baker, but Matt likes whenever I bake. He really, he enjoys anything I bake. So I feel like I'm just gonna surprise him with some cupcakes. I was gonna do a full on cake. Oh, my phone. 
Oh, that was Matt. He goes, how's your appointment, darling? Haven't really updated him. I probably will tell him when he comes home. I don't want to like worry him whilst he's at work. I'm just going to say, you know what? They're checking my liver. I'm not worried. Um, and like Matt says, we're going to take every day as it comes. They're always, I'm always going to get good news, bad news some sort of news all the time i just have to be okay you know if i'm strong i realized if i'm like crying or upset or stressed it really affects amma and matt if i'm okay matt and amma are okay you know and i don't have anything to worry about right now so what they're gonna do now is they're going to do a more in-depth check of my liver so more scans on my liver i guess so I'll keep you guys updated, you know? Your girl's got this, we got this. <laughs> Matt bought me this KitchenAid ages ago, like so many years ago, and I haven't used it, so today I'm going to use it. Um, he actually, I can't even remember if he bought it for me for Christmas or my birthday, it was about two years ago. And I just kept it in the box, but today I've decided I'm going to use the KitchenAid he bought me to make him cupcakes. <laughs> I've just done all the measurements of the ingredients if you guys want to know all the measurements I'll leave it down below in the description box so have a look there but if you go on YouTube and type in like cupcake recipe buttercream recipe there's so many on YouTube but if you want to do the same cupcakes as me well let me do everything first and see if it turns out okay but this is what I usually do anyways um, so it should turn out fine so I'll leave everything listed down below. I'm just having a moment to kind of process everything. I think it's just, um, I just feel like every week there's always something going on. Like I just feel like I never get a break, like give me a break. I just feel like now I'm going to be thinking about the scan that needs to be done on the liver. I'm not worried, I'm not worried at all because I know everything will be okay in the end. It's always okay in the end, it's just, you know the fear of the unknown, I always talk about this, it's just the uncertainty, it's just like, what is going on? Oh, I think the doctor's calling me, hold on. Hello? Hello, um, am I speaking to Tiffany? Yes, speaking. I'm calling from the MRI unit at the Royal Marsden Hospital in Stratton. Yes. Um, I'm just giving you a call, we received a request from your clinical team, and it's just to notify you of an appointment that's been made. Yeah. Um, so you, they requested an MRI scan and we have availability for tomorrow. Uh, you need to be here at the hospital for 3.40 in the afternoon. So I'm that having my first radiotherapy appointment tomorrow. Let me just double check with a radiographer. Give me one second. Yeah. It's the MRI team trying to book me in for a scan. For tomorrow. See, everything's happening so quickly. So quickly. So you'll need to fast for two hours, so no food. Okay. And you'll only be allowed clear fluid. You're here with us at 3.40. At 3.40, in the MRI unit? Yeah. And that's just for the liver, is it? It is, yeah. Okay, fine. Thank you so much for your call. No worries. I'll Thank see you. you see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> so the scan for the liver's tomorrow. Everything's happening so quickly. It's good, it's good, everything's happening quickly. So I have the radiotherapy tomorrow morning and then the MRI scan. Mm -hmm. Matt's got a day off tomorrow and it's so unfair because he's gonna have to spend the day at the hospital but I might just tell him, you know what, like go for your run and just relax, I've got mummy. Um, we'll see, we'll see what he says. I know he'll wanna come with me but we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Oh, it's so crazy because I was just sitting here talking to you guys and I didn't expect that call at all. It's okay. I'm gonna carry on baking. Let's get on with it. Let's just get on with it today. We'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs>
Close your eyes. Is there a fix? Yeah, you've got to close your eyes. Matt's just come back from work. Close your eyes. Yeah. Darling, you've got to close your eyes. Do you want to take your shoes off? Get cosy. Matt's just come home oh. from work. Look at him. So happy. Oh, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Is it closed? Close your eyes, close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Give your eyes closed. <laughs> what is this gonna be? Yeah, open your eyes. <laughs> oh, nice. Did you like that? Yeah. Did you? No. Oh, nice. Why did you do that today? Because you said you wanted some cupcakes. Where's the sprinkles? Darling, I didn't have sprinkles. Do you want to try Thanks one so. and say how much you'd pay? Looks good. Yeah, should I have one with the tea or no? Oh, that's what I said, I said you're going to have yeah, a cup of tea. Yeah, let's get a cup of tea. <laughs> what else do you make? I'm going to run today, do you mind? Not at all. I think that's the second person he said, yeah, do it there. He said, the more tides will fall off. He said, if I'm doing it, I want to do a proper job. Matt's going to try out the cupcake. Um, and the tea. And the tea. The, the tea's good. The tea, 1.58. 1.58 for the tea? Okay. Presentation could be better. I didn't have a piping thing, darling. So, so it's not like it. It's not I, very artisan. Yeah, pick, but is it? it's more like a homemade one. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 it's nice to come home to work for that, to be honest. Mm. 2 pounds 50 for that. Yeah. How much did I say for that? One pound fifty. Four pound. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Thank you. That's really good. Three pound ninety-five. Why did it go down? <laughs> so it looks like a good deal, isn't it? I hope you'd sell more of them. <laughs> Thanks, I love that. Okay, so today has been a really, really long day. I'm gonna have an early night because I've got, um, I've got to go to the hospital early tomorrow. I've got to start on the chemo tablets radiotherapy and then I've got the MRI scan which they booked in quickly for the liver um, not really worried about it I'm just gonna just like like everyone says take each day as it comes so that's what I'm doing not stressing out about it at all I'm gonna just relax on the sofa now and just have a chilled evening thank you all so much for watching and for your lovely messages on Instagram on YouTube on Facebook everywhere thank you so much if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and be part of my loving Tiffany thinks family my Instagram and my Facebook is Tiffany thinks and I will see you guys in my next video I love you all so much bye Mwah. Mwah.